Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Samsung Galaxy S7. Now this is the welcome screen. First thing you do is just simply choose your language and then hit start. And then from right here, you're going to select your Wi-Fi connection. Now you always want to connect uh, to Wi-Fi when setting up your device just to simply restore Google and Samsung settings on those accounts. You want to have it always available to you and you want a strong Wi-Fi connection, not a, a just, you know, a temporary and kind of not as good Wi-Fi connection. You want a solid one. So we're just going to put in our password right in here. And once we connect to it, we'll get to the next step. Now, it is important to note that Samsung does offer a little part that goes in your device, so make sure to get that. And if you want to transfer from an older device to a newer device, um, I believe it does work with iPhones and Galaxies, and then you'll be able to transfer over everything through a direct connection from your old device. So uh, make sure to take that out of the box if you haven't already. And then we're just going to agree to the terms and conditions. It's going to check for our Wi-Fi connection. And see if we have any SIM card in there, which we don't. Uh, nice new thing Samsung added is a software update, so you get ready right away. Uh, you can copy um, your Google account and everything else from your other device um, just by going over. Uh, we won't do uh, this uh, just because we'll have that for a separate video. And so we'll just kind of start fresh, but we will sign into our Google account. So we'll do that right now. And once you type in the email address, it's going to ask you for the password. So we'll just enter that in now. And then once it has my Google services, agree to everything, hit next. And then it'll move on to the next step. You want to set your date and time. We are not on the Eastern time. We are on Pacific time. So there we have it. And then you can set up a non-Gmail account if you want to set that up now. And then you can protect your phone. We'll save that for another video. And then you can restore it from a previous device if you choose to. We're going to start this off as a fresh device, so we won't do that. But as you can see, I have lots of different devices that I could uh, set up from if I wanted to. So we'll hit next. And then we're going to sign into our Samsung account. Now, why do you want to create a Samsung account? Well, this way you can find your device. If your fingerprint password ever does not work, your Samsung account, you can remotely remove the fingerprint access uh, from a computer. So that is the main reason why you would want to do that. So we'll sign into ours now. And we're going to sign in now. Again, we could back up and sync, but for the purposes of this video, we'll just do that later. Or, yeah, we'll just do it later. And again, this is the main part I was telling you that this does come with your Samsung S7. So you're just going to plug that in from your old device into your new one and then transfer everything over. Do this right now just so you get everything brand new right from the start. And then finally you can choose easy mode if you want to or not. And you can also add in Knox if you want to. This is if you want to keep your 
a work account separate from your personal. This is really good for that purpose. So if you do want to keep those separate, that's your ticket. All right, now we're going to finish up. And we now are signed into our Galaxy S7. All right, guys, that is the full setup on how to set up your Galaxy S7. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you, as always, for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.